Greetings and welcome to the ACS History Channel. I'm Orna Patel and I'll be your host as we stroll through the past of ACS, learning about secrets and truths that have been discarded in the sands of time. This week we will focus on the history of the teachers at ACS. Archivists at the ACS History Channel have uncovered some startling photos that were thought to be lost. It is these photos that reveal the truth that has long since been discarded or thought of as not real. The truth that our teachers here at the school were once, in fact, high school seniors. Indeed, we have managed to unearth several long-lost photos, all of which depict members of the staff at ACS in a light that is hard to acknowledge. Were these staff members once children? Did they experience an actual adolescence? Were they just as hormonal, grumpy, and rigid as we are now? These photos have managed to uncover a truth we have trouble understanding. Well, the question is, who are the people in these photos? We're going to have to ask a few students to see if they can guess who the teachers are in these pictures. This photo seems like it was taken a while ago, so I'm going to guess that they are older than they were in this photo. Ah, uh, he seems like a really fancy dude. He's got, like, jacket over his shoulder. I can definitely tell that the person taking the photo has posed him, though. None of this looks like a natural, like, relaxed po photo pose. It's like a Flynn Rider kind of smirk going on. They were one of those people who... The minute they went to high school, their parents gave them a car, and it was probably the best moment in their life. And like my own father drove that car everywhere and would, um, how do I put this nicely, would probably just drive that car until it broke down. I was going to say the popular kid, like, knew a bunch of people. Uh, I mean, yeah, that fits too, I guess. Is he a serial killer? Is, are these serial killers? Because now I'm worried. <laughs> um, this person has the classic 80s hairstyle at the time. And their, mo their mom probably definitely helped them with hairstyling. Yeah. This looks like a band photo, you know, with like the black dress, the pearls. Like you're like a band or a choir student, definitely. It's like it's been cut, so there's no like, uh, so there's no like saxophone or tr trombone they're holding in the photo. <laughs> they cut out the bottom half. <laughs> If we're assuming they're a band person, instantly all remnants of coolness evaporate. Um, mm -hmm. I can tell you from experience as a band student. <laughs> they're wearing a sash, which means instantaneously they're cooler than we'll ever be. Poopy hairstyle? I'm going to say, like, popular jock kind of dude. Not even looking at the camera. He's looking off in the distance. He's got, he just exudes confidence. He's probably been captain for a little bit of time and um, terrorized a few freshmen in his high school. Looks like a famous comedian. It looks like they've curled their hair for the photo, and I know that takes effort, so I'm going to say that they put effort. I'd probably be, I'd probably be their friend, but I'd be like um, a little bit scared. They, they secretly don't like me and instead are... Or it's too cool for me and I'm just living under their shadow. And I'd probably just be their friend. I, I don't have any secret insecurity about it. The demon in their eyes kind of scares me. I feel like they're hiding something. I just can't put my finger on it. Oh, definitely like plays guitar, ukulele, sits, <laughs> you know, sits by the tree, writes poetry. I have a jean yeah. jacket like this and I'm reconsidering many of my choices. <laughs> This is the first denim we've seen, though. That's true, which is a little bit strange. I wish we didn't skip over the photo above it, though. That one seems like... <laughs> that is... Those are the twins from uh, The Shining. No, these, these two certainly look like the people who put whoopee cushions under the seats and then would laugh. And then... Um, definitely main, like, side characters in Zack and Cody. Tune in tomorrow for another journey through the sands of the hourglass as we try to figure out who exactly these people are.